If there's one story setup that I love, it has to be the game of life and death. The Hunger Games, Battle Royale, Gantz, and of course, the Zero Escape series, all have a setup where regular people are forced to survive and sometimes kill, often each other, in a game like Scenario. Aside from that premise alone being interesting enough, the setup usually includes commentary and questions about the nature of human beings, isolation, trust, and anarchy. And so, when I heard about the manga, Rabbit Doubt, I was all over that shit. The manga is also referred to as Doubt, as in, I doubt this is gonna be a good read, <laughs> Oh, shitty jokes aside. The late 2000s psychological horror manga released by Square Enix follows a group of teenagers who meet to play a cell phone game called Rabbit Doubt. Cell phone games. It's a Japanese thing. Don't know what the game is though? Um, well, it's kind of like the game Mafia. No, not... Yeah, that Mafia. Never heard of that either? Okay, quick explanation time. Rabbit Doubt is a game where a group of unsuspecting rabbits live together in harmony and peace and love until they figure out that one rabbit among them is actually disguised, being a killer wolf, aka the liar. This sounds kind of like a Looney Tunes episode, you know, aside from the whole murder thing. They also have to figure out which one of them is the wolf before the wolf kills them off one at a time. I don't know, still sounds like a Looney Tunes. So, of course, this group of six youngins get knocked out and kidnapped as they find themselves in an abandoned psychiatric hospital, playing the game for real. With one of the group already dead, the other five have to figure out which one of them is the lying wolf and get out of there alive. So the premise and creepy setting are really excellent right off the bat. But how about these characters? Well, since the manga is only 20 chapters, meaning that you could finish it in a day if you wanted to, these characters aren't exactly dynamic, so let's just tell it like it is. The protagonist who's just there to be the cliche male protagonist. The angry asshole. The smart, older guy. And you could tell he's smart cause he's got glasses! Tits 1, the childhood friend. Tits 2, the slutty older one. Tits 3, the child star. Noticing a pattern here, Japan. And it's with these six that I already have a small problem. See, if one person is already dead, and you have a protagonist who you see isn't the wolf, then that leaves four people. There isn't too much guessing to do, and when people start getting killed off later, it's pretty easy to figure out who done it. I'm gonna say that I actually guessed who the wolf was, but that's because I'm seizing toward these kinds of stories and the little things the author throws at you to help figure it out. Anyway, figuring out who did it is most of the fun, so I can't say anything else about the characters, except that they're generally dumber than Lindsay Lohan, but uh, more on that later. Since this is a pretty short manga, I'll try not to spoil anything, so let's talk about the whole story. Rabbit Dell's strength mostly rides from its premise a killer attacking a small group of people in an abandoned psychiatric hospital. It's pretty basic stuff. Rabbit Doubt is a really effective manga for its extremely creepy and gruesome story. It's gory and chilling, as the setting and just the way the author draws things gets under your skin. It's something that really has to be commended. Particularly the gruesome art style, which excels at making things like adorable little bunny rabbits look terrifying. Also, a shorter story means it's much faster paced and more suspenseful, as well as an addicting read. The story seems logical, and it's easier to follow what's going on than something like 999. And of course, there's a ridiculous amount of twists that will have your mouth hitting the floor more than once. Especially the twist ending, but if you've seen the ending by the way, this isn't really a spoiler, but I'd just like to know why there's no police officers in that final room. However, despite the many great things that are going for Rabbit Doubt, I did have a few problems with the manga. Firstly, there are some plot holes. Nothing that totally ruins the experience, but they just contradict that sense of logic and the realism that the story was trying to go for. Secondly, the characters are a little flat and one-dimensional. They don't have any time to develop or even really being established, 
as their motivations and actions can be a little too overboard sometimes. Thirdly, while the speed of the manga does create incredible suspense and pacing, the manga suffers from concepts and ideas that could have been explained a lot better, or seem kind of inconsistent. Concepts like the barcodes that open doors, and even the methods of the wolf are kind of glanced over. I'm just saying that they could have put at least more pages or chapters into the manga to flesh out the characters, the story, and such more. And this was published by Square Enix, so don't tell me they can't afford to throw in like 10 extra pages a chapter. My final issue in the series was a plot element revealed in the final chapters that I felt was kind of a cop-out and pretty unrealistic. Again, they could have explained it better if they gave it more time, and it would have been a more coherent story as a result. All of those gripes aside, I would still highly recommend reading Rabbit Doubt if you like this kind of psychological horror and this setup. The setting, suspense, and pacing, coupled with some fantastic plot twists and chilling atmosphere, really makes it worth the ride. The ending was particularly interesting leaving the series open up for a sequel. Judge, that I'll have to review when I get a chance. If you can suspend your disbelief about certain plot devices and the stupidity of some of the characters, and let yourself get consumed by the mystery and apprehension, then check out Rabbit Doubt, if you're on iPhone for free, through the Manga Reader app, as this is something you can't miss. Thanks for watching.